All right, here we are back at the moniker. We're ready to do the installation of that power supply we just rebuilt. We want to insert it here. And feed that uh, control cable through the little metal clips so that it comes out the front. Now we want to bolt in the power supply. Flip the unit over, and what we want to do is poke the backlight cables through the little openings. Now, when you go to plug the backlight cables in, um, it doesn't matter if the blue, black, or pink, white is on the top, um, the voltage outputs are the same. You just have four. You have four connectors because there's four backlights. So you just plug those in there. You want to make sure your control panel is out and visible. Plug in the video cable. Make sure both ends are firmly seated in there. And you can put back the shield in place. The next thing we want to do is put back the screws on both sides of the VGA connector and then on both sides of the power connector. down and reattach the control panel to the front with that sticky tape. Now the Dell monitors have a built-in um, test function on them so even without connecting it to a computer we can test the operation of it out. So what we'll do is just apply power to it and set it down, push the power light and as you can see we have video. So now we can reassemble the unit, and we'll be ready to go. Next thing we'll need to do here is put on the front, make sure that the buttons line up with the control panel that's underneath. Turn the unit over. Actually, before we do that, we need to put the screws on the end since we were just testing it. Hold the two halves together. We'll get the two on the other end. Now we can lay the monitor back down flat. Remember to push your push button, monitor stand release button back. If you don't, when you put the stand back on it, you will not be able to get it off very easy. Let's see. Make sure that the control panel is lined up with your buttons. When you 
push the buttons on the front you should hear a clicking indicating that it's pushing the buttons on the back then you can just snap the case back together and you have a repaired monitor